Hi Leo, welcome to Love Full Tarot. My name is David and today we're going to be doing your general love reading for April 2022. This is for any Leo looking for any guidance and messages and love in their daily lives. Remember, if this video doesn't resonate with you, there'll be other videos coming up soon. Today we're going to start off with one card from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angel Love Oracle deck. And then we're going to do nine cards with the Rider Weight deck for past, present, and future plus one card at the bottom of the deck for advice. Let's begin with your reading, Leo. What do we have for Leo for April 2022? Glad you could join me today, guys. Always a chill vibe here. I really appreciate you being here. Let's start with your reading. So let's cut the deck here. What do we have for Leo? Okay, it's gonna be, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay, this could be the one. So, Leo, this is for you single Leos out there. There is someone there that you've already met. Okay, and this is someone that you possibly already have a crush on or you know that this person is around. Could be uh, in a social group could be in a team sport, could be in a community group that you're uh, in, work, this could be a work coworker, or someone through a family friend or a friend, okay? So let's figure out more answers for you, Leo, and find out what the universe needs to tell you for the month of April. I'm just gonna shuffle a little bit more so you know there's no sketchy things going on here, <laughs> but uh, always, going to be a shuffle for you guys okay what do we have for leo for 2022 of april universe please give me a message let's cut the deck and we'll begin with your reading so we're going to do three cards for your past energy your first card out for you leo will be the ten of pentacles in reverse your next card will be the queen of swords and your last card for uh, your past energy will be the Knight of Cups in reverse. Okay, Leo, let's see what's going on for you for your past energy here. Keeping in mind, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So some of you have been going through some issues with security and stability here with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you want uh, your happiness and some of you are disappointed. Some of you feel like you'll never reach this point where you're gonna find someone for marriage and stability here. You wanna gain that perfect union with someone and have that happy life, okay? And this would be uh, usually in terms of financial reasons with the pentacles, but it could also mean that you are fulfilled with uh, your romantic life, which will bring you happiness in all other parts of your life, okay? So a lot of you are suffering from uh, just being at a disadvantage. Some of you feel as if you've tried really hard in the past to have a relationship or be in a marriage or a, uh, an engagement with someone and things didn't work out and you lack the stability and security that you require, okay? Some of you want more out of a relationship and you're not able to attain that, okay? The Queen of Swords here could mean that there's an air sign that you were dealing with here in the past. This could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay, Leo? This could also be the energy of you where you basically uh, had to focus on your own self you had to make tough decisions for yourself. You started becoming more independent and you decided for yourself that you're gonna not accept anything less out of a partner, okay? So there could have been people in your life that you've maybe had to uh, release. Some of you have felt the need to uh, increase your communication here with individuals, okay? But there's also a sense here that you tend to think more logically in this scenario here with partners and those of you who are looking for relationships. 
Uh, you have a checklist possibly that you're even looking into mentally that you sometimes seek out when you're uh, finding someone, okay? And when you feel like you've met someone but then there's some sort of bad sign here, you immediately uh, can go into uh, this mode where you cut them off or you become basically discouraged to continue on a relationship, okay? Some of you right now are just uh, really taking on matters of your other uh, other matters of your life, including your work and uh, yet your career, and even family and friends. You are very much on top of things, and you are in control and very independent here. Now we have the Knight of Cups here in reverse, so there may have been someone in the past that you've either expressed love to, or. Uh, someone tried to come towards you either way with this knight of cups in reverse This was a love offer that was either refused delayed or uh, Didn't come to fruition because someone was scared someone didn't feel the same way back and uh, This created some sort of rift between you and this person. Okay, so for those of you Leo's who were uh, chasing after someone this person didn't feel the same way about you. Maybe they mistreated you. Uh, they hurt your feelings and vice versa. This could have been someone coming towards you that you possibly weren't really interested in emotionally, but you kept them around and you knew that they had some sort of feelings for you. Okay. Uh, whether or not this is a water sign here could be so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it's mainly an energy here exuded by this person. And the scenario is that things didn't work out the way that they should have, okay? Because one party was disengaged. So let's take a look now at your present energy for you, Leo, and see what's coming up right now for you. Your first card will be the Queen of Cups. Your next card will be the Four of Pentacles. And lastly, we have the star card in reverse. So again, let's keep this in mind. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Well, right now I can tell you with the queen of cups, there is a water sign here possibly for you. So again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this is a different person than the Knight of Cups energy. Okay. Uh, this could be someone that you obviously already know someone who is very caring, someone who is very in touch with their feelings, someone who uh, appreciates love and loves back the same way that you possibly do as well, okay? This person can be someone that you know already in your either work, uh, someone that you know within a group of friends, someone that you know uh, within a social group that you belong to, okay? You guys could be friends already, or you guys could be acquaintances, all right? Now, I see here that right now with the Four of Pentacles, you seem to be holding back a little bit this month. Uh, some of you are uh, saving up for something. This could be very important because uh, you may be going out less, spending less on yourself. Uh, some of you are saving towards something, so some of you could be focused on buying a new home right? A property or a, a new car or something that uh, will be costly here. Okay. Uh, also with the four of pentacles, you could be also just keeping to yourself a little bit and not willing to uh, be as completely open with yourself to others. Okay. And with the star card in reverse, the star card could be represented by an Aquarius in your life. Uh, so this is an air sign here. Um, but also with it in reverse, this really refers to you having to uh, still heal from a past situation. A lot of you are uh, still focused on some sort of trauma that's happened to you in the past here. And you're having a hard time moving forward in a sense with your energy here. Uh, where you're completely open, just like I said here with the Four of Pentacles here, holding back on something, okay? Uh, there is part of you wants to succeed in love, and part of you wants love so much that sometimes it could mean that love is literally at your doorstep, but you're not seeing it 
okay? Because you're so focused on certain things and certain qualities out of certain people, you're not seeing uh, the ones that really are meant for you and that are good for you, okay? Now also with the star in reverse, uh, because you are still in a, a healing process here, I would say that you are still going to be dealing with that for a while. Uh, it doesn't necessarily go away right away, but it's something that you've come to terms with and that uh, you re do realize is something that you need to eventually um, let go completely. Okay, so let's take a look at your future energies for you, Leo, and see what's coming up for you for the month of April. Your first card will be the Ace of Cups in reverse. The next card will be the Two of Pentacles. And lastly, we have the Seven of Cups. All right, Leo. So definitely coming up for you, there will be some sort of love offer coming through with the Ace of Cups. This is new beginnings. This is new love. And whether or not you accept it or not, because this could be the one for you, okay? It may not be. But if this is someone that you are interested in, that you already know of from your past, there is something wanting to come through. Now, either one of you is too scared to admit to it and proceed any further. That could be an issue here. But knowing that there is somebody here that wants to love you and put an offer in with you or ask you out, uh, you need to be completely open to that, okay? And you need to show to the world that you're all ready for a relationship. But this is definitely new beginnings. Could be some setbacks here with it in reverse, but still a very positive card, I feel. And now you're going to be faced with a decision with the Two of Pentacles here. A decision that's going to be you deciding on whether or not, if you find out from this person or you have any hints that they like you, are you going to move forward with this person? Do you want to proceed or do you want to continue on your journey and find someone else? This is entirely up to you completely, Leo, okay? But it will be a little bit of a struggle to come to terms with this decision here because what if you make the wrong choice? With this card here, it isn't going to be making a wrong choice. It's going to be making uh, the right choice for yourself at the right time. So either choice that you make, Leo, will be good for you uh, in the long run here as long as you're completely uh, devoted to the cause here with the person, okay? And of course, we have here the Seven of Cups. So a lot of you will feel like there are many other options for you that are coming through for you for April for 2022. This could be multiple people that you may be chatting with online or on dating apps that you suddenly feel that there's a surge coming through. So remember, you may be focused on that one person that you already know, that you already seek, okay? You've already met the romantic person that you seek. So what are you seeking? What are the qualities of an individual that you're looking for right now? Do you know anyone right now who has those qualities? Are you willing to accept that person into your life as someone that you can be in a relationship with? And if not, are you now going to be open to all these other uh, interests that are coming through to you? That's completely your choice, okay? But there will be time for you to decide, but you're just going to be smothered with options here for the month of April, okay, Leo? Let's take a look now at your advice card for the month and see at the bottom of the deck here for you. So we have here the Six of Wands. Okay, Leo, so your message and advice for this month will be that either way, you're going to be uh, victorious in this situation. Don't think of it as a loss if you decide to go a, a different way here with your decisions here. You know that you're on your way to finding who you want to be with. And whether or not it's with this person that you uh, could be the one for you or a new individual that's coming through in your life, um, you're going to be in a very winning situation. And you don't forget that, okay? And you should be very uh, graciously 
accepting any offers here. You should also be open to all those new people coming in. And you also have to realize that uh, people have a very high value for you and you're very well respected amongst your peers and your community here. So you do have high value, Leo, and that is what matters. And you need to stay confident with yourself and believe in yourself, okay? All right, I hope this uh, reading resonated with you, Leo. If it doesn't, there'll be other readings coming up soon. Thanks for joining me tonight, and we'll do it again soon. Bye for now.